guys! Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year sa inyong lahat. Okay, so kung bago kayo sa aking uh, YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button para lagi kayo updated sa aking mga bagong videos. Okay guys, it's time for us to make a review. So guys, ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayon ay ang another part ng research paper. Ito yung chapter 2. Okay, so yung chapter 2, it covers about uh, the review of related literature. So, in it is the chapter by which or in which you're going to analyze critically the published works and uh, published works related to your problem statement and research questions. Ating tandaan, a literature review helps identify what is known and what is not known about a certain subject of a study. A literature review involves the use of higher order thinking skills. Ano nga pala yung order thinking skills? Base ito sa Bloom's Taxonomy. So makikita nyo dyan, merong classifications of levels of intellectual behavior important in learning. So meron siyang pyramid. Okay. Makikita nyo po sa pyramid ang analysis, evaluation, and synthesis of several scholarly works which is used in literature review. Pag sinabing scholarly work, it is a peer review written by an authority on the subject at hand. Ito yung mga na-publish na works or books and journal articles. Literature review is an academic text that provides an overview of a particular topic. Sa pagsulat ng literature review, it involves searching for words yung mga relevant to the study, analyzing these scholarly works, and drafting the literature review. Mare din gamitin ang website as a reference materials, but make sure that uh, it is related to your study. May iba't ibang functions ang literature review. Actually, may anim na functions ito. Number one, establishes the relevance of the study. Make sure na yung na-research mong words ay related sa study mo. Number two, further helps in establishing the research gap. So, yung na-research mong words, make sure na makakatulong ito sa iyong problem statement. Number three, provides important information about your topic and the concepts related to it. Natandaan nyo, ang binigay nating uh, example sa chapter 1, ang title is Marketing Strategies of Car Wash Services in the Trece Martires City. Yeah, guys, ang hahanapin nating words, it's about the marketing strategies. Ano yung four P's? Isama na natin ang car wash services. So, yun yung mga words na pwede nating hanapin from different reference materials like journals, websites, books, encyclopedia, magazines, newspapers. Number four, presents contradictions between and among previous literature. It means that you're going to present or discuss kung ano difference between dun sa previous literature and the present. Number five, justifies your research methodology. It means na yung mga na-research mo, words na isinulat mo sa literature, ay gagamitin mo siya to justify sa result ng methodology. Number six, presents and discusses your theoretical and conceptual frameworks. It means na yung gagamitin mong literature study ay related sa theoretical and conceptual frameworks mo. So, I hope guys may natutunan kayo sa paggawa ng chapter 2 which is review of related literature and malaking bagay ang matulungan ko yun no, sa paggawa dahil talagang madugo yan. Okay, so, papakita ko sa inyo dyan yung paano yung paggawa ng iyon sinasabi kong APA style. Okay, so So, 
unahin mo dapat kung example yung marketing strategies. Di ba meron ako sinabi na banggit ko doon yung kay Neil Borden 1960. Okay, so yun pwede mo siyang gamitin as reference. So unahin mo muna yung surname ng reference and then yung year. Tapos isa-cite mo na kung ano yung sinabi niya doon. Ipaparaphrase mo na. Okay, so may example ako ipapakita. Okay, so hope guys, I hope na may natutunan kayo at uh, dito sa video na to about chapter 2, Review of Related Literature. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share this to your friends and families. See you on my next upload. Bye!